uh, Hyundai i20 I'm getting an airbag light you see the airbag light what we're gonna do is we plug the computer in this is where the computer plug goes this is just a cheapy computer not a very fancy one all right you just plug it in all right and off you go okay, we can turn off the car now all we've got to do is enter the code it's uh, SRS airbag oh. okay. this one is in Australia so it'd be Asia Okay, this is a Hyundai Smart VIN Okay um, Can you hold this for a second? I don't want anyone's uh, VIN number to be seen Okay, it's given me Driver airbag resistance to high. It's generally the clock spring the clock spring is in here and give me uh, front passenger side airbag resistance to high um, I've checked the wiring in that and it seems to be okay inside these seats there's a bladder inside there and that goes off sometimes so um, it's too expensive to take it and get it repaired you're just better off getting buy one from the records for like 50 bucks okay now we'll commence with the repair Okay, let's unplug this. Dan, can you get me the... I'll just connect the battery, please. The most important thing is to disconnect the battery in this car. When you proceed... First thing you got to make sure is the wheels are straight. These look straight to me. Go. No need to say, just go. Right inside here is the T30. It's right inside there. I can't see too well the angle I'm in. I'm guessing I have to replace the seat. Sometimes the resistance goes away. Like there might be a bit of moisture. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll see what happens. see again there you see can you see the screw t30 beautiful this is a reasonably easy job not very hard to do nash nash 12 70 This side's still connected a little bit. I'm a little upset and I screwed it out enough. There you go. That should be. Now, what I need to do here is disconnect the airbag. You must make sure the engine's off. These airbags are dangerous. We'll get a small screwdriver. Have to remove this clip. Just pop the screwdriver like that. And it should lift. That's the airbag part. It's coming off, it's listening. The wheel brace in the boot is what you, you can use that to loosen this. Now what we do is we loosen it, leave it a bit on. See this loosen it. Jan, can you come and hold this for me? Yeah. 
Got to put this on like that. Leave it on a little bit. And then just go. Just put a little bit. It's off now. Just connect the earth. Where's the box from? On the seat there. Now that's off. Make sure you're right on center. There we go. Try not to damage anything. Make sure the driver cleans. Phillips. Maybe you can the driver. That's the driver. Hmm? This is the clock spring right over here. There's little hooks at the bottom that hold them on. Okay, over here. This on the high end that has it. The older, new models have it. Right, when you turn it round, trying to get hold it in, and turn it around. It won't lock again. Now, turn it around again. You're locked on that center. But what I'm going to do is go the other direction to make sure. Because if you go too far, you break it. Okay, so now we know this is locked in position. We know we're on top that center. Can you hold this for me down here? Did you get a Phillips screwdriver? Okay. This is the clock spring. Right. The little clips that hold it on. There. Another one here. Get this closer. These are the clips. Just unclip. I've done a lot of these. Unclip. And there should be something up here. And there you go. That's your offspring. Now you just gotta connect some wires. Can you see the wires at the bottom? Right, you just have to disconnect them. This one is basic. Just press that. See that there? Oh, hold it there. See that there? You press that in. That wire should come out. Yeah. 
get them all out. Yeah, that's out. See that clip there? This one will come out. And this one, right, the clips. Is that lock or unlock? There you go, that comes out. Find that thing where it's gone. We'll get in a second. Yeah, we've got one more. See there, that clip? Yeah. Good job, I'm not on here, in my way. See there? That one, you just push it out, downwards. The old clock spring should be off. Anything else connected? Yes, there's another one there. Again, see that one there? That's your clock spring. That's your faulty old clock spring. As its steering wheel turns, it turns. This is just the lock mechanisms, Hyundai. This is just the lock mechanism there that the Hyundai's have to lock them up for installation. Now, the installation is the reverse. There's the old one. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Put them back exactly how you got them. Let's put all the wires back into place. Obviously someone's been back here, see all that wiring. It's upside down. See, see the lock? There, there and there. stupid thing. Now let's put back all the wiring. It locks on without it. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it down. It's locked on now. You see the tab there? That's the lock mechanism. When you put the new bolt, it pushes it so this thing can turn. Now this is locked. If I push that, I can rotate it. Okay. Some you can't, some you can't. Okay, now let's put everything back together. And that big one there, this slides straight into there. Oh, sorry, C come over inside the hole with me. That slides on. That goes up there. That's locked. That goes, you got it there, see that? That goes in there. Yeah. This one will go right up there. Steering cover back on. That one tucks under as such. This one. Just pull it in there. Is it cold? Is it cold? 
those right there. Slide over and get to the thing. Mm -hmm. You're going over it instead of going out through the weed. That has to go behind here. Uh, is it on the outside? Okay, I've replaced the, the clock spring. There's a airbag light on. Close your door, please. Okay, all lights are gone now. No airbag light. Clock springs are reasonably easy to change, but uh, so far. Okay, thank you, goodbye. Recording. Okay, now let's put everything back together. I found that this wire, that wire. This one just goes straight down into its place. down a little bit so this can fit through. Push that corner in.
now we're locked on the steering. We're on top dead center. This is everything's in place. Right in the center. Right in the center. They get the washer. There's the nut and the washer. Just put them on. Can you see where they go on? In their place. This thing, I lost it before. It's so small I couldn't see it, especially at my age. I can't see well anymore. That's the earth. Plug it in. Put that there. Now yeah, well, that, that's uh, where's the wheel brace. Like I said, the wheel brace in the in the boot works with this. Just tighten it. the hell the horn in. Uh, always just connect the battery. If these bags go off, tell you what, you want to love you. idea is you're always going to have problems when you fix anything. You have to see what the problem is, sit down rationally, think it over and solve it. Problem needs to be solved.
the place. I will never sit in the car. If any wire was short circuited, that bag goes off. Your shish kebab. Let's check now. All good. Airbag is still on. Sorry. Airbag is still on. <laughs> 